Thanks for coming to Bridge Cable's YouTube channel. We're using this as an internal training video uh, and also for anybody out there on the internet, uh, how to do a network jack. So let's go over a couple of the basics. How do you first, you pulled the wire, good job. Uh, how do you get it out of the jacket? Now, quick thing about uh, the color of the jacket. Typically, it's not a big deal uh, what color the jacket is in if you're not talking about the patch panel because patch panel you symbolize different colors for like uplink cables fiber telephone blah 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 so check with the codes but when we're running backbone cable it's supposed to be blue now why don't i have blue because a lot of times with bridge cable we're upgrading from five to six cat so a lot of times we'll put in the red because that way we can just pull out the blue real easy now you know if it's an enterprise we'll do something different now, in your toolkit, you're going to have from Radio Shack Harris uh, strippers. So you, you might have just the Radio Shack brand, which is from Harris. I don't know if it really is from Radio Shack. Klein has a nice stripper. And then also, you got your scissors. A lot of the old school guys are going to use the um, scissors. I personally prefer this because it's real easy. Now, every jacket is going to have a different thickness. See, I did that about three or four times and it didn't do. So I'm gonna do this three or four times, it came off. So it comes off real nice. So you have your four pair and then you have your string. Guys never wanna see string out there. there, that is no excuse. String is just so that you can just pull it down a little bit more. Oh, my, my finger's a little bit fatter or slippy. So you just pull down on that and you can just see it just strips the whole thing out there so uh, that's great for when you're using patch uh, wiring for telephone so four pairs out there real nice now let me just show you something over here so we're just gonna make sure this is a jack is a little bit heavier right so we take this out and lo and behold there's this plastic thing what was that what's that plastic thing that's a separator so here's what we got we got four pairs eight wires so when they're real crunked together, smooshed, you got some bends, you got all this, you have a possibility of, watch my one top finger, it might bleed the conversation, the network packets might go across on another wire, might possibly. So with the separator, it expands it and it makes sure, it's not that big, but you can see that it has less of a opportunity to cross talk. So that's really cool about the separator. Most of the cabling that you'll see that we're running for bridge cable, we have that. Now, let me show you something real quick here. I don't really prefer uh, new people to use the scissors because here's the thing, right? You're supposed to do a twist, but I see everybody do this, like loosey-goosey, right? Then you can see the jackets there, right? Then you do this. Oh, I almost got it. Then you get angry, right? And then you're doing this, and then you're pulling it now I was trying to show you an example you can't see it right down there by the jacket but because I put too much pressure because I'm fighting the jacket I nick the cable so that's why I don't suggest people using scissors when they're first starting out and personally I love my stripper anyway saves me times and we're usually dropping 50 to 100 at one time boom and I never really do that, and I'm just a little bit OCD, so I always inspect it. So, here we go. So, when you do that, and if you're dealing with a separator again, you can use your scissors. I'm just going to put the scissors over here, because I like my guys just to use snips. Now, how do you get these pairs separated? You're working with a keystone jack. Typically, in environment, you want to use blue for networking, white for telephone. So, a lot of times. Now, you will we'll run into telephone jacks. This is only three pair. So you punch down six wires. Telephone doesn't require that, but you can put that on there. Uh, a lot of times nowadays when we're building out a uh, building, we'll just put uh, regular cat jacks on there because a lot of people are using VoIP. So they're running it across their network, hopefully separate bandwidth. That's the smartest thing I can always do, but maybe budget doesn't allow. But regardless, if they're using voice, uh, we'll just have a jack because nobody wants to see a jack with two blues on there. It just confuses the IT support. 
Uh, so we just put blue and white, white for voice. So here we go. Keystone Jack. Now you're also going to find there's Panduits, Levies, you know, so all different kinds. So this is basically what we're going to use. Now you're going to see down on here there's two choices. Use B. Majority of the insulations, I think it's been two years since I punched down A. You want to use B. So you can see it's stripe and solid. Stripe, solid. So you know you're working with orange. So what do you do? You just take your finger. I'm going to show you another trick too. And you just do this. Now, I usually am doing paperwork or install. So I just do it this way. Now, if you don't want to have messed up hands like me, Remember, you strip that cable out there. Just take the jacket and put it on one of the pairs. And you can see how much time it takes, but you just twist it and it separates it for you. See that? Didn't have to damage your dainty little hands. But then again, you do sometimes have to manipulate it onto one pair. See? See, this is why I don't do it, but you can do that if you don't feel like getting your hands caught. See how much time that's taking me? And I don't use reading glasses. Once again, this is tutorial. I know all you experts are like, oh, this is taking too long. So, just twisting it out, right? Boom. Very simple. So, I know that these pairs are going to be used later, so I just work with one side at a time. Now, making sure that your string and separator is off, you want to get it real nice and tight. I don't want to see jacks out here that's just hanging out over there. So what you want to do is you want to start with your top pair. Everybody has their own preference. You take your, you, you make an L, you throw your thumb down in there, and you pull this. That's why I make them long. You can pull them. Pull them. Then after you have them down, I usually do one side at a time. You're going to take your punch tool. Ideal if you can. They're rock solid. One side has a cutter. That side. This side is non-cut. So, logic would say, cut. Now, when you go straight down, you're going to get a different effect. If you go on a slight angle, not this much of an angle, I'm just showing you an illustration. If you go on this angle, it's going to pop off. So let's show what happens when I punch down just straight. Okay, it pops. Okay, this is not doing it for me. Sometimes when you go straight down, you're going to have some hangers. Maybe we'll do it on the other side. Could be that I'm a really good technician. Who knows? So, once again while I'm doing this, take your thumb, put it in there, and I want to show you how a jack's supposed to look. I don't want to see string. I don't want to see any mess. So once again, I'm going straight. Now, it did it for one, did it for two. You're going to see that this is left over. If you adjust your blade, instead of going straight and a little bit towards the cut angle, these guys are going to pop off. Now, as you can see, they're still connected, but you just got to play with them. And if you're doing 100 drops, you want to be fast and furious. So you want to put this on there, the protection. That is what I think is nice because you don't have any string you don't have any of this mess just hanging out there you have less of the cable unprotected usually when you put it in the jack I want to see at least this much because sometimes you gotta take the faceplate off and service these guys very few and far between especially if we do the install it's rock solid but if you got a loosey-goosey if you got like this much hanging out there and it's just all like with a string coming out of course somebody coming in or maybe an electric guy putting a outlet in there it's going to affect it so again punch down tool you have one side that's a cutter different jackets different colors separator string remove you want to not have any mess up there you want to make sure that you have a nice clean cut like that you want to follow the color codes and then of course once we test and certify like we do everything you're going to see whether it works you can use your choice of strippers and if you're a big boy, you can use the scissors. Uh, and I highly suggest snips. I love these guys. Had them for like probably 10 years. Thanks for stopping by. Keep looking at the rest of our 101 tutorials. Thank you.